But here we are, Easter week, and there's no Easter parties at school and no Easter parties in your neighborhood. There's no Easter egg hunts that are, you know, at your neighbor's house or wherever you might go. Maybe you're even missing the big Easter party at your church that you usually go to. Well, even during this time, we wanted to send you a party. And so the story we're going to tell you today is a juggling story about an Easter party. Here we go. Every year, our school has a big Easter party bash. Last year's was more exciting than winning the 100-yard dash. We heard they were good, maybe even the best, a juggling family that could ace the toughest juggling test. And we were excited about this family's juggling show. But when they got here, what do you know? They said they had brought their Easter stuff to throw around. But there was no Easter stuff in their box or bag to be found. Juggled stuff from Halloween, some of the spookiest stuff you've ever seen. They pulled out a Thanksgiving tray. That's right, even juggled a Thanksgiving tray. And then they pulled out stuff from Valentine's Day. They even juggled stuff from teacher appreciation. Now there's a day we don't celebrate much in our nation. He juggled an apple, some chalk, and a racer too. He kept on going, what could we do? They juggled Christmas stuff, and don't ask me why, but they even juggled stuff from the 4th of July. We immediately tried to straighten him out. We said, that's not what Easter's about. So we tossed him three baskets, one by one. He juggled them high, boy, was it fun. Next, we gave him four colored eggs. He juggled them all under his legs. Finally, we tossed him a big marshmallow bunny. He ate it while juggling. Boy, was it funny. Well, just when we began clapping the most, he shouted, stop. That's not how you do the real Easter bee bop. I brought my Easter stuff. Right here it is. It looks like you need to take my Easter quiz. At that, he began juggling pumpkins and candy. The sight that we saw really looked dandy. He said, one day long ago, all Halloween broke loose. Evil wanted to conquer good. It would be no truce. It was right before the very first Easter, and it wasn't just play. It was no trick-or-treat. Terrible things happened that day. The people dressed a king in an unkingly costume. He was mocked and crucified and laid dead in a tomb. Watching the juggler was like seeing a scary movie. The story he was telling sure didn't sound groovy. Then he took a chalkboard and balanced it right over his nose after writing just two letters and then striking a pose. He said there's something I must tell people of all ages. Empty. Empty was the tomb when Easter morning came. And I tell you that my life will never be the same. Because on Easter morning, Jesus rose from the grave. So get out those Thanksgiving banners to wave. Because through Jesus, true freedom rings. Eternal life is the Christmas gift that he brings. It's time each person from the tall to the small. Appreciate the absolute greatest teacher of all. So light up the fireworks and shoot them off high to celebrate and proclaim God's love all through the sky. 
town had forgotten what Easter was about. The juggler finished with a quiz question and a shout. He said, The quiz question is this. Who's your Easter Valentine? I have one thing to say. Jesus is mine. Well, as we watch the juggling balls fly high and the fireworks beautifully light up the sky, all hearts were moved by this stranger's words. We realized our old ways were just for the birds. So now in our town every year on Easter, fireworks fly. People think that we're mixed up with the 4th of July. They drive by and ask, what gives? We answer with a shout, he lives. We pass out Christmas presents with valentines on top and open them right as the fireworks pop. Thanksgiving is evident all through the town. On the valentine is a picture of Jesus in his crown. Not a crown of thorns like the one that he bore, but a crown more magnificent than any king wore. There's a Easter message on each valentine. It says, I die and rose for you, for you be mine. You know, Jesus loves you so much that that's what Easter's all about. It's about how much God loves you. That you should celebrate his resurrection every day of the year, every day of your life. Will you be his today? Jesus is alive. He's risen from the dead.